Hello and welcome to WPLMS updates. In the latest 1.9 update, we have added the import export feature in WPLMS. So this import export feature works with CSV files, which are easier to manage. So using this feature, you can create and import your custom content. So for this demo, I have two installations. One from one installation, we are going to export and in the other site, we're going to import the content. So let's get started. So first off, we're going to export few questions. So for this demo, I have created few set of questions and we're going to look about these settings. So to start with exporting files, you need to go to LMS, LMS settings, import export. Here you need to select the module. Then you need to select the options. So important point to note is that if you want to export the answers for the questions, so which will include the answer marked by various students, so you can export the comments for that. So, but right now we are going to export only questions and we're going to import six questions, which I have created specifically for this. So when you click on generate export file, it will show you the button download export file when we click it will download the export file so the export file name will be showing the number of entries downloaded so as you can see this is our exported file if we simply expand So in the downloaded export file, if we see, we see first three rows, first row defines the table, database table. The second row defines the ID. The third row defines the database field. The fourth row is a label for human understanding. And the fifth row is the value stored in the database field. So now it is really easy to understand what all information is being stored. So every question will start from every question course unit will start from WP post and and end on WP post. So if we see this question, this question it comprises of these many entries. If we check this on the back end, we go to the questions sort by date and if we edit this question so we can see that the title is given the publish date is given the content content matches then we have the question type which is match then we have the question options as you can see then we have the correct answer sequence then we have the answer explanation, answer hint, and we have the question tag, so which is here match. So this particular question comprises of these many rows. So if you want to create or ex or create an import file for a match question type, then you need to copy this particular section. Similarly for other question types, so you, so the important point to note is that the correlation exists between the database field and the sort question and the value of the database field. So let us create a new question. So if you want to create a new question and import it, then all you need to do is copy from WP post till WP terms so as you can see we have copied these fields in a Google spreadsheet and you can now type in a title Similarly, you can write in the content, the slug. Similarly, the options, every options is separated by a pipe. 
similarly the correct answer so one two three apple is the correct answer here hint and then the question tags question tags need to be separated by comma so this will create a new question tag so when we once we are done with the file we can simply download it as a .csv file so we have our csv file ready which we downloaded from google spreadsheets so next we are going to import this file in our brand new test installation if we go to lms all questions section and sort it by date we have this last question so now if we are going to import the import the question we just created in the excel file we go to lms settings import and we simply drag the file and upload so once uploaded we will see a import complete notification if we now go to questions and sort it by date you can see we have our custom mcq and with the new tag field if we view this if we edit this you can see all our fields have been imported including the correct answer and the options so this is how you can create and import questions into the lms so now we are going to import export the course so now if we go to import export and export the course and we export everything from the course so it will generate a complete export file which will include the include everything since we have exported everything from the course it will export all the the course content course settings units inside the course each unit with the content and the settings similarly quizzes inside the course every assignment which is connected to the unit in which which is inside the course every question in the course will also be exported all the users taking the course and their user and the user statuses in the course so if we simply import this export file in our brand new installation so it will not only create the content it will also import the users as we are going to see here so we go to import export and import this file right once imported if we now refresh reload our users page we see that we have our new student imported so in this case the username student already existed so the user so the import created automatically created a new username so the search is done primarily by the id for the new username so now if we log in to the site using the new username which is student88 and go to all courses you can see we have the starters course already included in the my courses section and if we go to the continue course we can see that the user is at the same location at which she was previously in the site from where the course was exported so if we check the quiz you can see that all the question types have been imported So that's it from WPLM's updates. Thanks for watching.